Well, so unfortunately, I don't have a like a metal bender, so I had to do this on the vise, and I just heated it up. I've got a nice 90 degree angle out of both of these sides. So the way I'm going to mount this motor mount is right inside this corner. Um, so what I need to do is to, to get the most strength out of the back side of it. I'm just going to uh, mark it right about here with an inch square tubing. I'm just going to cut this. That way I have more room inside here to mess around with stuff. Right here doesn't really matter because the motor is going to be mounting straight up against it like that. But uh, all right, so let me get that done. I've got to do both of these. So they're both going to mount in like this. And then I'll, I'll just, uh, I'll probably just weld them in because it's quick. But right here, it's definitely going to be bolted in so I can, you know, move this back and forth and adjust the frame. All right, so drill these holes. This is going to fit right in here. I need to grind off just a little bit more right here just so I get uh, I can make a good weld. It's going to fit just like that. And uh, I may do it right in the middle. That way I get the motor up as, as high as I can. Um, and we'll see how this goes. All right, so the first motor mount's done. I ended up getting a little bit of welds on the on the back side too, and the tacks on the front or in the inside. So let's just go ahead and set up. We'll set up for the next one right now. <laughs> so I've got a <laughs> my rag that had acetone on it. It was just a little bit too close. So, warning. The idea here, I'm going to drill a hole here and a hole maybe right around here. That way I can slide it in and out. Um, we'll see how this goes. A little bit of oil. A little bit of oil. And uh, these are just pilot holes. Basically, you want, I clamped it on here so that it rides. Uh, it rides correctly and this is all uh, at all right so I got the motors mounted back on the frame extension both of them I have separated the old uh, um, swivel joints from the conduit now we're going to center the seat to uh, dead level ride and then we'll adjust these so that they have the most uh, travel. So I'm going to have to put like a um, kind of spacer in here just temporarily. I'll make it out of wood. All right, so I put a few pieces of scrap wood up under here just to get dead level. And uh, like I said, they're, just, they're not hooked to anything. In fact, I can shake the seat. But what I want is to know where level is and then I can adjust the motors to the middle section right around here and that way when they pull backwards it's going to pull the seat back when it push forwards um, we're going to get a braking action so let me measure this up and to really get the most adjustability I want to get all the bolts centered about halfway down the shaft so I'm unscrewing them just a little bit about halfway down and I'm gonna lock them in place I'll do that on all four that way we have a good amount of travel for adjustment 22 and a quarter inches so I'm gonna cut the conduit at 22 and a quarter I'll go ahead and slide it on here and the bottom and uh, just kind of see how it's how it's looking So I got both of these uh, 
struts ready to go. All we need to do is get them on here, tighten them down with a lock wash or a locking bolt with a, like a nylon thing on it. There's nylon in, in the middle and that'll prevent it from like coming loose. All right, so let me get this done and take out the spacers. Should be good. All right, let's see if it stands on its own. It's looking that way. Take those space pieces out. Oh man, yeah. This is this is gonna be pretty good. Um, so what we need to do now is hook up the Hall Effect potentiometers, which we've already done once before. I do have to cut a new piece just to make it a little bit longer. So let me get that done. All right, guys, um, I got everything back together and I'm getting a little bit tired, so I'm gonna cut the video right about here. But we have got everything mounted. We've got that extension mounted. The pots are mounted back up. Um, and right now, this is under, I'll, I'll show you another look, but this is under full acceleration. All right, so full acceleration, these little, they're like two inches long. The arms on these little motors, they're all the way down. And this is full acceleration. So we're getting at least a couple inches of change um, under full braking. It's just, you know, it's not, it's going to be about the same going forward. So you're not getting a lot of, you're not getting a dramatic motion like you do on my three degree of freedom rig. Because the levers on, on those motors are like five inches long. These are two. So you're only going to get, you know, about maybe two inches, two, three inches. But uh, yeah, so should work. It's going to be stronger than it was last time. Quite honestly, it's been a little bit of a challenge to get this to work, but I think we're almost there. The big thing that we, we don't know yet is, are these motors fast enough? Do they respond quick enough? Now, I know those crab pot motors do, but I don't know if these things will. I think they're going to have enough power now to move the chair around even with me in it, but are they going to be fast enough to respond? I don't know. If, if, it, if I was to do this again, I would definitely pop for a, a couple of those if I was just going to do this little frame extension or just try to mount them under here. It's, it's going to work with those because they're much more powerful and they respond real quick. Don't know what the specs are on these things, but it's going to work. We're going to find out and hey, if anything, at least you had a good time uh, checking out how to do it yourself if you wanted to. Watching somebody make a few mistakes along the way, well, you never know. This is experimental science. You just don't know what's, what's going to happen, um, especially if you're using parts that are, you know, not so good. Like maybe, like I said before, maybe I got a hundred bucks into it, not including the, the, the actual simmered frame because I bought a little piece of metal. If I paid 10 bucks for these guys, 30 bucks for these, uh, the Arduino, the fan, maybe a hundred bucks, something like that. You can probably build it for a little bit less, but um, you never know. Um, all right, so it's been a while since I've raced this thing. Uh, had to take a few trips to North Carolina and back. I really want to race this thing. There's a lot of new cool things going on. Um, so I'm gonna fire it up and just leave this for tomorrow. Uh, happy Thanksgiving, USA. All right, guys, check it out, Dave. Out.